Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today, we are going to learn how to make a word web in Microsoft Word. But first, please take a moment to subscribe and turn on notification before we begin. Thank you. Okay, now let's do an overview before we get started. I have some text boxes here in the shapes of ovals. I have some pictures. I also have another text box here, some arrows, and a few more items throughout the page. Let's take a look at how I put all this together. Here's a fresh clean page. I'm gonna go to layout, and I'm gonna change the orientation to landscape so that the page is sideways. I'm also going to change the page size to legal so that the paper is longer and fits better on my screen. Okay, now in design, I I can choose page border where I can choose a border for my page just to keep everything collected and looking neat. I'm going to choose box here and I can also choose other settings like the line thickness of that box and some dotted lines and color even. I'm going to choose dark green since I'm making a word web about turtles and there you have it a beautiful page border. So now I can start to insert shapes and I'm gonna make a text box up here and I'm going to put the title of my work. Always create a title for any graphic organizer you make. This is very important so that the person looking at your work knows what they're looking at. So here with bold and underlined text, I'm going to go ahead and give my work a title. I'm gonna make it a little larger so that it's nice and big and clear on the top of my page. I also don't want a box around my writing, so I'm gonna to go to shape fill, no fill, and shape outline, no outline. That way, my text looks like it's floating and I can move it around easily. So it's better to put your writing in a text box always. Now I'm gonna to go to insert again, I'm gonna to go to shapes, and I'm going to create another text box right in the middle. So turtles is what I'll write in there, and I want my text to be large and prominent in the center of my word web. So I'm just gonna keep increasing the size of my text, and if it's too big, that's okay, because I want to make the box even bigger. I also want the word to be in the middle of the box, and I want it to be bold, so I'm gonna center it. Here we go. Perfect. For my next step, I want to change that rectangular shape around turtles. So I go to change shape and I have all these shapes as options before me. I'm going to choose a cloud shape, but I just want you to see how many different shapes you can change any text box into. Okay, cloud shape. I'll choose that and I'm gonna adjust it so that my text is clear and I'll move it around to the center. Perfect. So I'm going to insert shapes and this time a circle for one of my traits. So a characteristic of a word web is there are many traits surrounding the center word. Okay, let's change the color fill to no fill and let's change the uh, color of the outline from blue. Well, you notice my text disappeared, but it's actually white, so I'm just gonna change it to black. There it is. Okay, back to the shape. I'm going to change the outline color to black and all of my circles will have a no fill color and a black outline color. Let me also remove any space after the line because that will mess up my centering later. So right now I have the circle the way I want it. I'm just gonna adjust it and move it over here where I can now add an arrow. So let's take the double-ended arrow and connect it to the main word of my word web. And I'm also gonna change the arrow color by changing the outline color to black. And now I can add another text box for another trait. This time I use text box instead of circle because I want to show you that you can actually use a text box and then change the shape of the text box to any shape you want. Same way I did a moment ago with my main word for my word web. Okay, I have the centering and everything the way I like it. I'm even going to remove the space after paragraph and now I'm going to change the shape. Again, you can choose any shape you want, but for consistency, I'll be choosing the oval for all of my traits. Okay, I'm gonna adjust it. Now, depending on how long your trait is, you'll want to stretch your circle out and so on. Okay, let's add another arrow here and then go to shape outline where we can change the color to black. Okay, I'm going to insert more arrows, one after another. Here we go. Perfect. Now I can copy and paste my text boxes that are shaped like ovals. I'll just paste them. That way I don't have to do all the work of adjusting all the features and characteristics of the text box. Later I can just go in and change the words inside of these text boxes. But for now, let me just keep pasting them and repositioning them where I want them. I can go in and start changing the words themselves. And the arrows are also adjustable. 
So now I can go to each circle and change the text that's inside of each circle. And if the text is too much, I can just stretch the circle out so that I have enough room. And I'll just go to each one and change it. Okay, and make a little adjustment here. And readjust your arrows if you need to. Keep an eye on where your arrows are pointing. Okay, now it's time to add a picture. So I'm gonna click insert and go to online pictures. And from here, I can do a search for any picture I want. Any picture you like, you go ahead and click on it and click on insert. Okay, so let's erase that. And let's go to layout options and choose in front of text. Now I can resize and move my picture around freely. Sometimes you want to reposition certain items and you even want the picture to be behind text. So that's fine too. And once you have things the way you like them, you can add more pictures. So let's go to insert online pictures and do a search for reptiles. And just repeat the steps. As you choose your pictures, think about what they mean to your work. And that's it, great job. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through and pressing that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification if you want to be alerted right away the next time I upload a video. See you very soon, gents.